What's going on? This is Kobe Bryant, and you're watching STN TV. It's STN TV. My name is David Brickley. A very special guest joined us today from the Clippers facility in Playa Vista, California. It's Clippers head coach Vinny Del Negro. Vinny, thanks so much for the time. Uh, my pleasure, David. Big story out there, obviously, is Kobe Bryant. He <laughs> ruptured his Achilles tendon, uh, out for the year, six to nine months recovery. What were your thoughts when you first heard about that devastating injury? Well, first of all, Kobe Bryant is my absolute favorite player in the NBA, and I was devastated by the injury. So uh, myself and the entire NBA community, we're, we're all hoping for a speedy recovery and look forward to watching him play next year. We know how tough he is. Yeah, nice things for you to say, Vinny. I want to jump into the Clippers. A big debate is should you guys hang – that Pacific Division title up in the Raptors at Staples Center. Where do you fall on that uh, side of the debate? To me, it would be a joke if we hung that thing up. Uh, I mean, we share that building, the Staples Center, with the Los Angeles Lakers, who only hang up championship banners and, and Hall of Fame players. They even have a Hall of Fame broadcaster. You think Ralph Lawler is ever going to make it up there? So, to me, absolute, absolute embarrassment. You know, I actually heard a rumor that Shaquille O'Neal used to towel off with the Lakers' Pacific Division banners after games. So... Do I want to hang up a bath towel in the rafters? The, a the answer is absolutely not. It'd be a joke. I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit because Chris Paul comes in, Blake Griffin only getting better, Lob City, a lot of excitement. And people are even saying, does this turn into somewhat of a Clipper town? Obviously, there's a lot of history with the Lakers. But you've seen, Vinny, you got to admit, you've never seen more Clipper jerseys out there in the city of L.A. Yeah, well, the Clippers have been in Los Angeles since 1979. And counting this year because we've already clinched the playoffs, this will be the sixth time David that we've been to the playoffs and we we've only won two playoff series in our history so uh will this be a Clippers town this year or next year I I don't really think it'll ever never and I said never will be a Clippers town it seems like you're giving a lot of respect to the Lakers because they've had a lot of history they've accomplished a lot of things but it doesn't seem like it, it, I'll tell you this Benny it seems like you're always thinking about the Lakers always <laughs> comparing yourself to that team that could be a good thing but it really seems like you're not into it with the Clippers organization. Well, in a perfect world, I'd be part of the Lakers organization. And I really, since I'm being candid anyway, wow. uh, if Mike D'Antoni wasn't the coach of the Lakers next year, I'd love to have that job. And if there's room on his staff, if he's still the coach, I'd like to be a part of his staff. I'd like to be an assistant. And if for some reason those positions are filled, um, I still got a little bit of a run left in me. I'm about the same age as Steve Nash. I'd love to play some backup point guard. I just I just want to be part of the class organization like the L.A. Lakers. Uh, in the interest of just being a journalist, I mean, do you feel like you need to retract any statements? I mean, it really seems that you're saying a lot of stuff that I'm sure the Clipper brass would not appreciate, Vinny. Well, I've already gone this far. So, listen, I know you do a lot of stuff with the Lakers, uh, LakerNation.com. Uh, you do the Kobe Minute as well. So uh, if you have any pool with that organization, if you, you could talk to Mitch, talk to anyone – uh, I'd love to love to make my way over there. So if you can you can do anything for me. When this interview's aired, Vinny, and guys like Chris Paul and Blake Griffin and the front office sees what you just said, how do you think they're going to react? They know how I feel. I talk in the locker room and in, in all the speeches. I'm all let's be more like the Lakers. Let's be a class organization. Like they, they know how I feel. I don't think there's any. Uh... Uh, all right, there he is, Vinny Del Negro, the head coach for the uh, L.A. Clippers, uh, at least for now, anyway. Vinny, uh, good luck in the playoffs. <laughs> we'll need it. There he is. Thanks for watching. Why don't we keep the ball rolling? You want to be entertained a little bit more? Why don't you click the video below? Jason, are you not going to promote the video below you? Jesus. All right, listen. Also click the video below, Jason. That's another great piece of work. We both agree that you need to subscribe to our channel. You guys know the drill. What is wrong with you? Would you say something? Say something.